TikTok dating coaches are genuinely insane. If a girl stops texting you or leaves you on red, this might mean that she likes you and this is what you should do. Hello friends, are you single? How's that going for you? Do you wish you knew the way on how to speak to girls? Or better yet, if you are a girl, do you wish that guys just really knew how to talk to you so you're attracted to them. Well in today's video we're going to learn both of those things as we're looking at TikTok's dating coaches for men. This is going to be such a, such a wholesome video. Hopefully me and all the other virgins, which I expect as everyone watching this, can learn a few tips and tricks. So the first coach that we're going to be having a look at is a man called Coach EO. Now straight off the bat looking at him, he kind of looks like if DJ Khaled and Drake had a love child and it was sponsored by AU Vodka. But let's see what he can teach us about women. Please understand this. Never, ever, ever go see a woman where she's at. Never. I don't care if you lose her. I don't care where she is. Do not go where she is. Always redirect. If she says, well, I'm actually at the winery right now. Why don't you come over? Say, hey, listen, it's all good. Enjoy your wine. Uh, but uh, afterwards, come see me where I'm at. Well, how are you ever meant to see her? What happens if she's in your house? Do you just wait for her to leave? Do I apply this logic to every single scenario? Hey babe, I've been rushed into hospital and my waters have broken. The baby's coming. Hey, do your little thing with that thing that's popping outside of you and then when you're finished, come see me where I'm at. How do you think people get into relationships? They make the effort to see one another. Maybe I'm the weird one, but I've never got into a relationship before without actually seeing the person in real life. It's a bit like buying a house. You need to do a tour first because pictures can be deceiving. Also, how posh do you have to be for someone to ask you to meet at a winery? I'm sure one of mine and Chloe's first dates was us going to Mackey's at midnight to get chili cheese bites. Now that is what you call real dating advice. If she's like, how come you don't want to come here? Just say, hey, listen, do your thing with your friends. But when, but when you're done with that, text me and I'll let you know where I am. Just keep redirecting it right where you want it to be. I can just imagine this happily married man comes across this TikTok and it like just changes his whole perspective. Hey Stephen, could you come to your son's nativity today? I think it would be really wholesome for us to go together. No. Why not? I, I just can't. But, 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 but why? I don't know. Coach Eo said I can't go anywhere you're at. I just can't, okay? So our first tip from DJ Drake was to never go where a woman's at. But if you have to, he's also got some tips for that. Sometimes put a, a wedding ring on when you go places, all right? Fucking hell, Tommy Shelby's let himself go. So she might ask and say, pardon me, are you married? Say, look, I'm not married, but I put this ring on to kind of filter some of the women away that, you know, I'm just not interested in. <laughs> yeah, I get so many women that I have to put strategies in place for them to stop falling at their knees. Looking at you, mate, I'm sure that's correct. Yeah, girl, the only thing that's unattractive about me is this thing on my finger. No, not that, that, that that's a wart. Don't do this! She's just gonna think you're weird. And also, I think you'll just spend the next 30 minutes convincing her that you're not actually married. There's no way that she responds with, what, you? You wear a wedding ring, is it? It's a prank! Oh! <laughs> I guess you could say that ring isn't the only thing that that finger's gonna be poking through tonight. Like, what kind of flirting is that? Nobody's gonna be like, oh, look at that guy. He's He's got that. Believe it, you're not married, Riz. <laughs> Okay, this seems good so far, but what happens if, you know, a, g a girl wants to know more about you and starts asking you some personal questions? Next time a woman asks you, uh, so what do you do for a living? This is what I want you to say, like in a player way. A fair question to ask on a first day, what do you do for a living? There's nothing too in intrusive about that. Let's see what his response is to this. This is what I want you to say, like in a player way. Just say, listen, tonight we're just having some fun. So maybe, maybe next time we get together, I'll tell you what I do for a living. But for now, just know that I distribute money. Oh yeah, say that. That doesn't sound dodgy as shit. The two things that would go through my mind if someone said this would be he's either a drug dealer or he lives at home in his parents' basement waiting on a PPI claim. Like this doesn't make you sound hot or mysterious. If you work at Tesco, just say you work at Tesco. Chances are I've already stalked your Instagram and your Facebook and I've seen you working at the tills. Yeah, I, I distribute technology for a multi-billion dollar 
organisation. Oh, really? Because when I checked your Facebook, it says you, you work at Vodafone. Uh, exactly. The thing is, though, okay, we can have a laugh right now, but everyone in the comments agrees with them. When a woman asks that, she is not for you, bro. What do you mean, John Victor? Are we not allowed to ask questions anymore? Like, what do people do on a first date? Do you just sit there and stare at them? Okay, let, let me get this straight, DJ Drake. I need to write this down. I can't meet a woman anywhere, no matter where she is. If I do have to meet her, I have to pretend she's married. And if she asks any personal questions about me, just be as vague as possible. Oh, God, I'm going to be so attractive tomorrow. You want to know if a woman likes you? Truly likes you? Hug her. Run some real game now, 164 people watching. Hug a woman. Why is he going on as if he's just dropped some generational piece of advice on work? So, you've never eaten a burger, but you want to know if you like one. 167 people watching right now. I've got you. I'm about to change your life. Just try one. Bring her in and hug her. Does she put her head on your chest? Does she melt into you? What do you mean, does she melt into you? What, what are you hugging, a Solero? I need to try this test to check if my girlfriend actually loves us. Melt, woman, melt! So you could say DJ Drake is at the pinnacle of all TikTok stating coaches, but there is a wide variety of other people who do this sort of content, and I want to take a look at them. If a girl stops texting you or leaves you on red, this might mean that she likes you and this is what you should do. Or she just doesn't want to speak to you and is physically repulsed by you. That could be an option as well. Women will pull away for two reasons. The first reason is that she isn't sure if she finds you attractive and actually isn't into you. Or the second reason is that she actually likes you and is doing this as a test to see if you are going to chase her. Now, for both problems, there is only one solution and that solution is to also become cold and pull away. To get her attracted, you have to display value and the best way of doing that is by not messaging her. I want to see if somebody comes back to this TikTok in like three Three years time. Bro, it's been seven years and I'm I'm still waiting here like you said, she hasn't messaged me. If this is you, just accept your L and move on. There's so many other people for you. You don't have to keep chasing this one that won't give you the time of day. This one technique that got me in with this chick. It's called the push-pull technique. Basically, all I do is I pull her and then push her as hard as I can. <laughs> push her off a cliff. Tactical victory. So one time I was at a club and I seen a girl across the room that I liked and I had to go up to her and approach her so I used the push-pull technique. I approached her and the first open line that I said was, hey, I like your dress but the shoes don't match. Sorry, what? What is this, queer eye? Bro's got that. Devil wears Prada is. Shee Meryl Streep. More like Meryl Creep. Maybe this guy has just got like a raging foot fetish and he's like, you're a seven, but if you take those shoes off, love, whoo, you go to a ten in my books. Who let the dogs out? Hopefully me. <laughs> that is top three worst set things I've ever said in my life. And the reason why it worked, if you look at it from a psychology perspective, is that I validated her, but then I took that validation away, which shows that I'm not desperate and I'm not needy. To be fair, I, I get that a lot. People say, oh, you're hot, but you know, in like a, in an ugly way. Thanks, that, that, that really makes me feel good because obviously I'm just so ugly and nobody would, nobody would ever love me. Oh God. Hear me out. Dating women is the same thing as having a child or a puppy. Finally, finally, one coach that gets it. One coach that gets it. I love when I go on a first date with a girl and she shits on the pavement and I've got to pick it up. Doggy style, my favorite position. When you do get eye contact with a girl, just look at her, smile a little bit. She might look away. Just keep looking, just for another few seconds because she most likely she'll look back again and then she'll like fully get into like a bigger smile with you. At that point, when she smiled and held your eye contact, walk straight over bro go be bold immediately fast as possible as soon as you get that good eye contact with a smile don't think about it literally just command your feet to walk towards her wait how, how do i command my feet i normally just walk i normally don't have to you know talk to them before I... i'm confused i'm never gonna be able to pick up women women will tell you exactly who they are right at the beginning of your oh fuck's sake i can't man just take the mask off bro just take it off sorry mate i think that mask's a bit extra do you get it because it looks like chewing gum <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, what is it with this mask I keep seeing all over TikTok? We had it in this video that we did. I'm unsure if they're in some sort of weird cult. Whatever it is, I want to join. I, I, I need that mask. What you need to do is you need to listen to them. And you need to believe that they're telling you the truth. Wow, Wrigley's extra, man.
discovers listening. This guy is good! I never thought about that. What, listening? Listening to a girl, that is a... Uh... Fuck, I'm gonna have to write that one down. Small thing, I also love that he decided to post this on Christmas Day. Surely if there's any other day of the year you've got something better to do, go and eat some turkey! Or, I don't know, at least put a Christmas tree in the background. Why does this look like Christian Grey's room? Can you imagine going to school with this guy, though, and he was one of your friends, and, like, someone's like, oh, what's, uh, what's Andy doing these days? Oh, Andy's, uh, he's... He's, he's wearing a, a, a chewing gum mask and pretending to be a prophet on the internet. You'd be like, ah, oh, well, uh, you know, each, each to their own, as long as he's happy. So many times in my life where someone I'm dating has told me, oh, I'm mentally ill, I have these problems. And in my head, I think to myself, oh, they're just exaggerating. It can't really be that bad. You're right, extra man. Uh, mental health is just exaggeration. It doesn't actually exist. Spot on. I've been waiting for somebody to say that to you. Reasons why men should get off Tinder, part one. The balance between men and women on Tinder is as follows. 80% men and 20% women. And as a result, Tinder puts you into a ranking system where they rank you against every other man on the app so that they can show the 0.001% of men who look like male models to that 20% of women to convince them to stick around. Can you imagine being so chronically on Tinder that you start to study the algorithm? This guy is the Mr. Beast of Tinder. He's treating his photos like thumbnails. This man is ahead of the curve. So we've got to change the CTR of our third photo, it's only at 9.7% and it's really taking down our click-through rate. I just believe he's got like people working on his Tinder account. Do you think he's called the anti-profit on Tinder as well? Maybe that's what's taking his percentages down. Just a, a hinge I've got, you know, a hint. Is a hinge? No, that's another, that's another day at nap, isn't it? If you haven't invested hundreds of dollars into getting several really fabulous photo shoots under your belt, if you're not hitting the gym five to six days a week, if you don't have your physical appearance in order, if you don't know how to present yourself online, if you don't have a perfectly written bio, you will literally not show up in front of any woman's profile. Okay, that's enough. Please subscribe, and if you want to see a video that is similar to this one, click here. The people in this one are even worse.